پاکستان زندہ بات شکریہ جی میر جناب میر غلام علی تالپور صاحب تھینک یو مسٹر اسپیکر فرسٹ آف آل آئی ایم گریٹفل ٹو دا پرائم منسٹر اینڈ دا فائنانس منسٹر فار سینکشننگ فنڈس فار ایم این ایز انڈر دی ایس ڈی پی پروگرام دس پروگرام ہیز بین کرٹیسائز ان دا پریس لاسٹ ایئر دس ایئر اینڈ بفور دیٹ اینڈ آئی تھنک واٹ دا پریس our friends in the press fail to understand is that this program caters to micro development, you know, small developments, two room schools, one room school, half a kilometer of road, etc., etc. Things which do not appear in front of the planners, things which are hidden from the planners at the provincial level and at the federal level. But nevertheless, these are issues which have to be dealt with, and these are the issues of the people of Pakistan. So I'm grateful to the Prime Minister and the Finance Minister for taking this step. Other than that, I don't see the efficacy of this budget. This budget, through sanctions, allocation, and disbursement, has to pass through three governments. One government which will approve it, and shortly afterwards, which is about a month or so later, if things happen according to the Constitution, there will be another government for three months, and after that, another. So nobody can really say what it will be like even a month and a half from now, three months from now, or six months from now. Therefore, I refrain from commenting on this budget, knowing fully well that many things can change in it, and uh, that can be left to later discussions in the next assembly, which, by the grace of God, Pakistan will have. I uh, move on now to... I move on now to a brief history of social awakening and the new social contract starting from Punjab. As they say here that where Punjab goes, there goes Pakistan. And I think that is how it has been in the history of Pakistan and more so is now. Pakistan, uh, Punjab received its emancipation, I would say, or breaking of the chains of the neo-colonial system in 1970 under the leadership of Shahid Zulfkar Ali Bhutto. Shahid Zulfkar Ali Bhutto was a leader of Punjab. Punjab wholeheartedly embraced him and his socialist platform. We must look at the results of the 1970 elections. In Punjab province, the People's Party received 113 seats. In Sindh, 28. In Sindh, the majority was not with the People's Party. The majority was with independents and parties other than the People's Party, who together held 32 seats and could easily have formed a government against the People's Party if such a situation had entailed. But it was Punjab which gave the leadership to Zulfkar Ali Bhutto and his socialist program, and thereby incurred a new social contract in this country. It, uh, and the masses of Punjab remained loyal to Zulfkar Ali Bhutto. Ziaul Haq was not scared of Zulfkar Ali Bhutto Shahid's popularity in Sindh. It was the teeming masses which came out on the railway stations of Punjab when he took the rail journey from Lahore to Sindh, which scared him and the generals with him. When they saw these teeming masses, 
and tens of thousands of people coming out on railway stations where they made unannounced stops for that train which was carrying Zulfkar Ali Bhutto. The generals had second thoughts about his release and second thoughts about allowing him to either carry on in politics or even to go into exile. For they felt immensely threatened by the popular will of the people which was generating, being generated through Zulfkar Ali Bhutto. So that was the emancipation of, of Punjab at that time. Of course, since followed later in the 1983 and 1986 movement uh, for which the unsung heroine of the 1983 movement is Begum Nusrat Bhutto. She was heading the People's Party at that time, and along with her was Shaheed Benazir Bhutto. But Begum Nusrat Bhutto's contribution, unfortunately, has not been highlighted as much as it should be. She was the leader. She was not a born Pakistani. She was a born Iranian who wholeheartedly embraced Pakistan and stood up for the rights of the people of Pakistan and suffered serious physical injuries in holding up the rights of the people of Pakistan and other tortures, family tortures, later on and in the hanging of Shaheed Zulfkar Ali Bhutto. She was the one who was leading the 1983 movement and I hope that forgotten chapter of her heroic acts is highlighted more so that the nation as a whole can learn how she led the movement of emancipation. That was Sin's emancipation and Sin's awakening. Now what we have, we in Punjab, weird right, conservative, economically and socially, and chauvinism to, took effect. And later on, of course, the building of the middle class in the Punjab with Project Imran being the catalyst with unintended consequences. What we need now, sir, is a new social contract. The Punjab middle class, since there are no reliable figures, could be anywhere from 25 to 35, and more so concentrated in the urban areas. We desperately need a new social contract there. And then happened 9th of May. 9th of May is not just an incident. 9th of May is a date for deep reflection and study. The relationship of the Punjab with the armed forces goes back to 1857 and onwards. The Punjabis were proud soldiers of the Royal Indian Army and then the Pakistan Army. And that tradition is generational. It is not one generation, it's not two generations. It is generational. And for that genera generational relationship to be broken and for incidents of this kind to happen in the heart of Punjab, in Lahore, needs deep study. Why? It's not a one-day incident. It is not one person. It is much more than that. And that, sir, uh, needs to be studied by the establishment. And sane heads and wise heads have to sit together and then look at the country which is at a crossroads. And every move from now on has to be well thought out, analyzed, and then implemented vigorously. For the nation is sacrosanct. The nation cannot afford another 9th May. It cannot. The lawbreakers will be dealt with by the law, as it may be, as is right. But, like it is said in the US, after 9-11, never again. Here we shall say, after 9th of May, never again, and we should look into all the causes, all the reasons, and then resolve all those issues so it must 
never again, again happen again. Moving on from here, sir, at least we can, after this catastrophe of 9-11, we can at least take pride in our armed forces for now they're number seven in the list of armed forces in the world as in terms of firepower with uh, the armed forces of the US, China, Russia, France, Britain, India, and Australia before them. So they must be doing something right to achieve this position and the position they have been gradually raising for themselves. My congratulations, heartfelt congratulations, go to our protectors, the armed forces, that they have achieved this rank in the armed forces of the world. So, I will say something about my constituency, I will say something about my constituency, میرا ہلکا جو ہے بہت ہی بدین ضلع ایک بہت ہی غریب ضلع ہے وہ کافی سالوں سے ڈاکٹر محبوب الحق انسٹیٹیوٹ نکالتے ہیں سندھ کے اضلاع پاکستان کے اضلاع کے دکھاتے ہیں کہ کون کون سے اضلاع ترقی آفات ترقی آفتہ ہیں کون کون سے اضلاع پسماندہ ہیں اور کون کون سے اضلاع بہت پسماندہ ہیں یہ پاکستان کے بہت پسماندہ ازلا کی لسٹ میں آتا ہے اور آتا رہتا ہے کافی سالوں سے ان ازلا میں ستر فیصد سے اوپر غربت کی شرح ہے ہمارے زلے میں جاب کریئٹنگ انڈسٹریز کی ضرورت ہے ہمیں خیرات کی ضرورت نہیں ہے نہ میں چاہیے جیسے کہا جاتا ہے کہ مچھلی نہ دیں مچھلی پکڑنا سکھائیں تو ہمیں جاب کریئٹنگ انڈسٹریز کی ضرورت ہے سکل ٹریننگ سینٹرز کی ضرورت ہے ہائر ایڈوکیشن انسٹیٹیوشنز کی ضرورت ہے ہمارے ظلے میں ایک بھی یونیورسٹی نہیں ہے اگر آپ مختلف ممالک دیکھیں ترقی یافتہ تو چھوڑ دیں ترقی پذیر چھوڑ دیں یہ ترقی یافتہ چھوڑ دیں جو ترقی پذیر ہیں ان میں بھی تھوڑے تھوڑے سے ڈسٹنس پہ جو ہے یونیورسٹیاں ہیں یہاں ہماری جو نزدیک ترین یونیورسٹی ہے وہ بھی کوئی ستر سے اسی میل دور ہے ہمیں یہاں یونیورسٹی کی اشد ضرورت ہے اس کے ساتھ ساتھ ان پسماندہ ازلا کے لیے اور خاص کر کے ازلا بدین کے لیے فیڈرل گورنمنٹ کو بھی چاہیے کہ کوئی سپیشل پلان بنائیں کیونکہ یہ روٹین کے جو بجٹ ہے ان میں ان کے لیے کچھ نہیں ہوتا ہے نہ آگے بڑھیں گے ایک سپیشل پلان کا سنا تھا جو بنایا گیا تھا پلاننگ اینڈ ڈیولپنڈ ڈپارٹمنٹ نے اس کا بتایا تھا اور پی این ڈی کے وزیر صاحب نے بھی بتایا تھا اور کہا گیا تھا کہ سٹیک ہولڈرز جو ہیں ان سے مشورہ لیا جائے گا اس کے بعد کیا ہوا ہمیں علم نہیں ہے ہمیں صرف یہ بتایا گیا ایک دفعہ کہ ٹیمیں آپ کے پاس آ رہی ہیں ہر ضلعے میں آ رہی ہیں اور آپ سے آ کے مشورہ کریں گی اور آپ کے ساتھ جو سکیمز ہوں گی وہ آپ سے ساتھ ڈسکس ہوں گی اور فائنلائز کی جائیں گی کچھ بھی نہیں ہوا سر یہ دیکھیں یہ دنیا چلتی ہے بھروسے پہ ذمہ دار لوگوں پہ بھروسہ ہوتا ہے جب بھروسہ ٹوٹ جاتا ہے تو کچھ نہیں ہوتا اب جب یہ باتیں کی جاتی ہیں اور پھر نہیں ہوتی ہیں تو بھروسہ ٹوٹ جاتا ہے اور حکومت پہ سے بھروسہ ٹوٹ جاتا ہے سر اس کے بعد میں آگے بڑھوں ہمارے ہاں کوئلہ آئل اور گیس ہے تو ضلع بدین کو بھی سی پی سی پیک کا حصہ بننا چاہیے اس کو بنانا چاہیے تاکہ اس کی ترقی آگے بڑھ سکے یہ تین چیزیں ہمارے ہاں دستیاب ہیں اور کوئلہ بھی اب ضلع بدین کے اندر بھی جو ہے ملا ہے اور وہاں اس کی کانکنی بھی جو ہے پلاننگ میں ہے کہ کچھ عرصے کے بعد شروع کی جائے بدین جو ہے سب وہ 
वहाँ पानी की कमी है और जब बारिशें होती है तो डूब जाता है तो हमें या तो हम सूख रहे होते हैं या हम डूब रहे होते हैं हमें डूबने से बचाने के लिए ड्रेन्स की जरूरत है और हमें पानी की जरूरत है ताकि हम कुछ फसलें उगाएं और जो कुछ हम अपनी मेहनत से कर सकते हैं कुछ हासिल करें और अपना पेट पालें जब तक कि हुकूमत की तरफ से हमारे लिए कुछ किया जाए जिसका हम पिछहत्तर साल से इंतज़ार कर रहे हैं उसके साथ साथ सर आखिर में मैं ये कहूँगा कि हमारे यहाँ रोड्स की हालत बहुत बेहतर हो गई है इसके लिए हम सिंध हुकूमत के शुक्रगुजार हैं हम अपने लीडर बिलावल भुट्टो जरदारी साहब के शुक्रगुजार हैं कि उनकी वजह से सिंध में और ख़ास करके बदीन डिस्ट्रिक्ट में हमारे रोड्स जो हैं बहुत अच्छे हुए हैं और आमदरफ्त जो है आसान हो गई है अब मेरी गुजारिश है और हुकूमत से अल्तजा है कि जो बातें कही हैं उनमें से अगर एक भी हमारे ज़िले के लिए हो जाए तो हम मशहूर होंगे शुक्रिया शुक्रिया जी